wow, job well done. Like, it's got to feel good on this side of the, the movie, like the premieres today. Yeah, okay. The energy is high. People are anticipating this movie. People are talking about it all over mm-hmm. um, the internet. What does it feel like? Have you all seen it? Yeah, I've seen it, but I'm <laughs> we've seen we've seen oh oh yeah, 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 yeah. depending on when you watch this maybe we've seen it <laughs> yes, 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 exactly. we've seen we've seen a lot of a, a lot of like our parts and like a, we, we've seen like we've seen some things like when we were doing uh we, we first reunited for uh, the first time we saw like this amazing like like kind of like cut of, of a, like a cut thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and so but uh we're going to be very I'm seeing it tonight. Yeah. We're, we're going to see it tonight. Seeing it tonight for the first time. Yeah. I'm very excited for you to see it for the very first time. It was so good. I was so I was in a theater of I think we said about 15 people mm. at Disney and I stood up and I was clapping at parts of the movie. I was oh, like, yeah. I I'm sorry. This is I feel like the my family is in this movie. <laughs> Me so and the person behind I me just, just like that's right. Cool, 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 cool. Could you sit down? Could you just sit down? Um, I just the barriers broken, of course, with the retelling of the Little Mermaid. Um, Chloe, mm-mm. Hallie, mm-hmm. Bailey, the other, the other sister. Um, Hallie Bailey. What she does in this film is remarkable. Mm-hmm. Did you actually get to work with her on set, or were, was it voice afterward? Yeah, we were we were able to be together, like all of us. Um, what was really cool, though, is that not only were we able to like see her rehearsing for it and kind of witness her her singing and her voice, yeah. which was amazing and blew everyone away, it gave me goosebumps. And um, but we also like recorded our lines with her, which was really cool to kind of get to do that. Yeah, that doesn't and, happen often. No, no, it doesn't. Not at all. Um, obviously, she had our lines to kind of work with, but it was I guess really different because we got to do it. And actually, that's why I want to give her a lot of credit because she only had like puppets and a recording of her voice. Puppets. Yeah, cause cause for for like characters, they had to use like yeah. puppets, right? So like we, puppets. there was a rehearsal process for this that was mm-hmm. where we were all figuring it out. Mm-hmm. And so since we were just gonna be voice actors, there were also puppeteers there who were going to work like a little Sebastian, Spatially, uh, like, like this, be, right? So they were building for, for these choreography sets. choreography purposes, like. And we would have to sort of figure out how long it would take to voice this part if the crab needs to get from all the way over here to all the way over here or whatever. Scary. And then. So we got to record all of our stuff with Hallie, and then Hallie had to perform by herself right. with our voices being played right. in her ear and puppets, right? So, like wow. You, you were mentioning we basically recorded her reference tracks. because She would hear yeah. our, our real voices, which I think is, is cool also, like, you know, because we, it, uh, she, she said that like, it felt that we were there. Like you were there. She was constantly listening to us all day. Mm-hmm. Good yeah. Lord. I mean, it's just the, the technical aspects of this film the more you learn about it, the yeah. more you're amazed at how yeah. you pulled this off. And Jacob, I have to be honest with you, I am hugely distracted by the grown man you showed me here today. <laughs> I, yeah. I yeah, cannot, I I, Jacob, I cannot take it. And I don't know why I imagined you would stay a little boy forever, but yeah. like, whoa. No, it's, it's crazy because- How old are you? I'm 16 now. 16? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. I was like, I think when? I just turned Since 15 when, when doing, um, Flounder. So really? I think my voice has changed so much too. I definitely. Um, well, Flounder changed quite a bit. Everybody yeah, had yeah, something to say. Did. So he went through the same thing that I did, but. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what did you What did you think when you saw Flounder for the first time? What did you think of it? Well, I actually saw it for the first time during. I think I actually was shown the design for him in my audition process. Mm. I think oh, I showed wow. him. And um, no, I had so much faith in Rob. I knew that he would kill it, and I knew he knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. And obviously, when we watched the film, it just everything worked so perfectly. So I couldn't really imagine it looking looking a different way. And um, yeah, I think he's I think he's adorable. And yeah, cool they about, are. Yeah, I think what's cool about the recording process is that they you know were filming us too, so they were able to take those facial expressions that we made and incorporate it into you know the design the, when they were animating the it, yeah. right? So mm-hmm. yeah, it is it is. Aquafina, I want you to tell me. You find out they're doing The Little Mermaid. You look in the mirror and you say, I am Scuttle. <laughs> Scuttle is me. Uh, is, that, is that how it happened? Oh, that, uh, uh, no. That's <laughs> <laughs> I just made one phone call. And <laughs> I am Scuttle. Yeah, I, I mean, I knew that they were going to do a new little, little Mermaid, and I thought that was exciting. Um, and then I got a call from, from Rob, 
and John, and um, I grew up loving Scuttle. Like, I always have really a, a little bit identified with Scuttle. When I found out that they wanted to meet, I had no idea what it would be for. Right. Because um, I was like, I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I don't know what else, what it, what it would be. Um, and then, then when they just said Scuttle, like, my, my heart dropped. I, I, it was, like, so exciting and cool because... I mean, that, that is a dream role for me, for sure. Right? For sure. You yeah. killed it. Oh, thank you. Killed, I mean, all of you kill it. Like, it was it was a tremendous, tremendous job all around. Um, I'm going to come to you, David, because I, I, am, I am very curious. Mm. Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough. So many people have so many thoughts. I mean, he delivers some of the, like, key yeah, yeah. phrasing in the movie, mm -hmm. some of the, the mechanic of moving us along in the story. Yeah. Did you fall in love with Sebastian? Like, what, was this always something that you wanted to do, or? No, I really. And the voice, like, how? Wait. <laughs> I just, uh, I didn't. Yeah, no. When they, I mean, I think my agent called me and was like, "They'd like you to come and read for Sebastian." I was like, "No, they don't." <laughs> I was like, "That's not. That's no, they not do. me. That's and they not don't true. want me to do that." So like, it's fine, and they can. I mean, we might as well pass. But they're like, "No, they really want to see." You. I was like, "What? When?" They're like, "Today." I was like, "I'll go." I haven't. And all right, let's go. You know, you just, just did like, it. Just jumped by. in, and then and you know I hadn't really looked at the music, and that was the crazy thing though. When I walked in and they gave me like five minutes with the accompanist, and I was like, oh wait, I know all these songs. Wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was like it's mm -hmm. from when I was nine years old. Like I right. still remember. Whoa. You know, I had to like review the words a mm -hmm. little bit, but I was like, wow, I know the melodies to these songs. That's crazy. And then Rob and John come in, and we just like spent an hour having so much fun. I had so much fun in that damn audition, and I walked out of there. So my day started with like, they definitely don't want me to do this. To me, leaving, being like, God, I hope they want me to do this. That, that, <laughs> really? <laughs> that was always that was so. Yeah. You're right. I had fun too with them that that day. Yeah, like well, not like you, but yeah, yeah, like they're just like fun. It's not it's not nerve wracking yeah, necessarily. Yeah, it was just, and that was the whole process. Like so much fun. So that that really is a tribute to them and the kind of like and everybody, Alan too, and Lynn, all the like just the kind of creative atmosphere it was yeah. really was like. Make, making really fun choices about the character, like digging into, you know, like Sebastian's neuroses and like. I the mean, whole, you know he was saying? just like, a like, very like, tightly wound yeah. little guy. <laughs> yeah. And you forget that it's like a lot was riding on him. Right, right. He's a little guy with a lot on his back. <laughs> a lot on his back. Yeah. He he delivers a lot of you. you uh, the three of you actually deliver quite a few of the one-liners in this movie. Do you have favorites? Is there is there a line that your character delivers that you're like, oh, that's my, I love, that was my favorite one. I don't know, I don't know what's in it yet. I don't, I don't know what made the cut. Oh, right. <laughs> Dang. Because you guys did do a, quite a bit of like, uh, I don't want to say ad-libbing, but kind of like vamping oh, yeah. on the, the spot, like improv. Mm -hmm. I mean, the day we recorded that, we were cracking. Remember, we, yeah, we were breaking, like a lot which of... was like crazy when you're, when you're doing an animated movie. You don't usually break, you right. know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Scuttlebutt. Yeah. I mean, it's a good one, right? Oh, you like scuttlebutt? So oh, you like good. That? Oh, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that a conversation where y'all were like, "I feel like we just need one more situation in there," or was it brought to you guys? Was this always kind of a part of it? Yeah. Yeah. It, I didn't know that Scuttle was gonna have a song. I, I like really <laughs> didn't know. And then you didn't know that you. Like you were, I don't just... think I was supposed to be in. I don't think Sebastian was supposed to be in the song. You're like she can't carry this. Lit... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I think we gonna need some help. I think yeah. in hindsight, Lynn was just like maybe thought I would be offended if there's like rapping happening, but I wasn't. A part of it or something. I don't know, but like I don't know. I don't know. But... That is kind of funny. It, it was that, so, kind of funny. It, that was so fun to perform though. Like yeah, was I, it? yeah it was it was nerve wracking, but then fun. Yeah. Are you prepared for that? Like. For people, they're gonna shout that at you. I don't know if you know, like kids when they <laughs> see. I you. hope not. <laughs> you know, like when kids when they see you. So like, scuttlebutt. It's scuttlebutt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. and they do the chorus scuttlebutt. to me. I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna. I'm not her. I don't. 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 <laughs> not, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, we were talking about the breakthroughs, the the breakthrough that is this movie, um, the breakthrough that is Halle Bailey mm -hmm. as Ariel in this movie. I'm just curious what your thoughts are on what it is like to be a part of this supporting cast, this this effort, this energy, putting this stake in the ground for young people around the world to see themselves in places we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. It's just beautiful. You know, it's so cool to be a part of something that is like has so many more points of entry for so many young people, yeah. right? 
where you can look up on this. It's because it's, it's important, and a lot of us didn't really have it growing mm-hmm. up, you know, looking up on screen and seeing yourself in a thing that's, di- that, did you, I mean, in a blockbuster thing, right? Because right. that's just a big, major Disney motion picture. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, that just, di- it didn't happen when we were kids, so like for... For little brown girls to get to look up and see Hallie up there on a big screen, and then for her to be who she is, also, right. like, and that's the that's actually, to me, the thing I am most in awe of with her too is just like the fact that she is capable of carrying all of mm-hmm. that and still so warm and wonderful and loving and and despite all of the whatever everything coming at her from all different sides yeah. but like her performance is undeniable undeniable yeah. and undeniable. then she can still walk through the world and carry all that too with like ease it doesn't look like it phases her which is crazy because I would be a mess yeah. all the time yeah. <laughs> we're, we're behind her in every way I mean we I you know like we I think that as, you know as a, as a supporting cast but even just like whatever this is and she is so like phenomenal she's so like she just she is the role. She's mm-hmm. she's so powerful yeah. as a performer. Yeah. yeah, I I really couldn't imagine anyone else. I mean, she mm-hmm. she just delivered and with just absolute perfection. I mean, she's phenomenal.